Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for those who left me a comment or who left me an email asking for resources, asking where can you start in terms of bringing diversity into your homeschool, in terms of teaching about not only African American history, but African heritage, African history, Hispanic history, Asian history, and all other types of non-European history. What can you do? Well, I will first say that you as the parent, you have to read. Um, you can utilize the internet engine to um, Google or research those specific topics, African American history, the truth about African history, um, and history on other types of cultures and ethnicities. So start by reading. You as the parent, read. And as you're reading, develop unit studies. Develop unit studies and develop um, questions that you can pose to your student. Give them research papers. Um, you can give them various writing projects. Be creative. Don't just have them read something and say, give me an essay. But Ask juicy questions. What are some of the questions that you have about various um, figures based on cultural culture or um, based on their ethnicity? Ask those questions to your own student and have a conversation, have dialogue. Learning um, is done best um, when you can put information, history, facts with something else. So we like to have conversations around the dinner table a lot about all types of subjects, not only history, but government and politics and finance and character development. We like to incorporate those conversations with food because the children never forget. And I don't forget because I can pinpoint the environment, the space that we were in when we had the conversation. We have debate. I will get a question and, you know, my husband will be on one side. I'll be on one side and we'll debate it. And then my son will decide which is the best if he chooses to lean on one side. And we do a lot um, in terms of current events and politics. But Back to the subject of this video, where do you start? I think a great place to start is with these who is or who was books. And again, not only read them on surface, but dig into that individual and do a character analysis. You can read their autobiographies if they have it available, or you, the parent, can read the autobiographies based on what grade or what age your student is in. And then you can dive into a conversation and create, again, unit studies or create little mini lessons for your student. Another idea that you can do to incorporate diversity within, within your homeschool or learning lab <laughs> is maybe choose one week out of the month or one week out of, yeah, one week out of the month where you focus on diversity and you are not only reading facts, but you can read historical fiction, historical nonfiction. You can read other pieces of literature that are not historical, that are by black authors or um, authors from different ethnicities or have characters, the main character that is seen in a good light um, who may be a part of various cultures or ethnicities. If you can't do a week out of a month, then maybe do one day per week or one lesson per week and choose someone or choose an event or choose a topic and then dive into it and, you know, bring substance and meat to it. Nothing surface. Don't just learn about the person, their name, when they were born and something um, interesting about them, but dive into it. Do a project, arts and craft. You can paint, watch a movie, have them create a visual book report. There's so many cool ideas that you can um, incorporate within your homeschool journey to bring what they're learning to life. And that only, and that doesn't only go alongside with what we're talking about bringing diversity, but if you're talking about any topic or subject, you can do all those things with that. So here are some who is or who was books that we have within our household that we like to read. Again, when we read, we normally don't just read um, if it's for a particular topic or subject, I'm pulling something out and we're diving deep into 
a specific area, a conflict, an error, um, character analysis. I may choose two books. We may read it and then we do a compare and contrast. Um, so lots of cool things. I'm just going to show you the different titles that I have. And when talking about Rosa Parks, because this is one that everyone likes to hit on during Black History Month. And if you are going to only do it during, during Black History Month, maybe put aside everything else in terms of literature. And every day you talk about a specific person and you spend about 30 minutes on that person and have some type of project at the end of the week that brings it all together. Um, and again, you may want to read a few pieces of literature, poetry, um, nursery rhymes if you have little ones. If you are not interested in weaving this in into your routine in terms of homeschooling and you want to stick with Black History Month, if that's your cup of tea and you want to stick it that way or leave it that way, um, then you can focus on an individual every single day and um, again, create memories as you're talking about these individuals. But with Rosa Parks, sometimes we like to tell the story of she was a tired black woman who got on a bus, her feet was hurting, and a white man, or, or the bus driver, the white bus driver, the male asked her to move so that another white occupant can sit, and she said, I'm not moving because my feet are tired and I've been working all day. And then that is what sparked the Montgomery um, bus boycott movement, which was led led by Martin Luther King. But that is far from the truth. If you read her memoir or her autobiography, um, she said, literally, she said, I did not um, stay put or stay seated because I was physically tired. She said, I decided not to get up because I was just tired of the oppression of black people. And also, um, if you read in history, there was another young lady who actually was the first noted person who refused to give up her seat on the bus. And she was a teenager, I think, at the time. And because she wasn't the best face to put on the movement, then um, they decided to go with um, Rosa Parks in terms of the the Montgomery bus boycott, putting a face to that movement. So I will put um, the name of that young lady who actually was the first noted person or documented person to not um, um, get up from her seat on the bus. And she actually went to court for that incident. I'll put her name up here somewhere on the screen. But Again, dive into people's autobiographies, find out the truth. Don't just read material, even these who was or who is books. Don't just read for what it is and then say that's the truth. You as the parent dive in so that you can bring those little pieces of nuggets um, to your student. And then maybe that book that that young lady has, the, the girl who was the actual first person who refused to get up and she actually went to court. For it, maybe that would serve as an opportunity to read her um, book. It's not a long read. The student can read that within like two weeks. Coretta Scott King, Jackie Robinson, Maya Angelou. Uh, there's so many ways that you can dive deep into Maya Angelou. You can bring in poetry. You can do poetry tea time. You can do a unit study um, for a week or two or three or a month, specifically on um, African-American poets. And of course, she wasn't the only one. You have Nikki Giovanni, you have Baldwin, you just have so many other people, Langston Hughes, you have so many people out there that wrote poetically. Even, I'm gonna throw this guy's name out here. Some people are like, what? He's a rapper. And I'm not bringing a rap or hip hop into my home school, but there's a book um, a book of poetry by um, Tupac Shakur, and it's beautifully written. Now, you may not want your student to read every single one because I think there is some profanity in some, but you can still understand his pain, his plight, and his words through that paper. So that's something that you as the parent, you can look into um, if you so choose.
for those who like sports, even if you don't like sports, this is a wonderful story. Read the biography and the autobiography. I don't think they have an autobiography yet, but there are different biographies written about them. But this is a beautiful story, a story of hard work, determination, work ethic, not only from these two young ladies, but from their father. It's, it's amazing. You can not only read about Michael Jackson, but you can listen to his lyrics, some of the words from um, the time that he was more of a teenager, when he was coming into his own all the way to the point of death. The Some of the songs that he wrote, read the lyrics, have a... Um, a moment of literary analysis. A lot of it is truly poetry. Talk about what is poetry. Does poetry always um, include rhyming words? What makes poem a poem? And create, recreate based on what's happening in the world right now. Have your students create a piece of poetry and have them illustrate that some way through art. Wonderful ways to bring in all those pieces. So many great things about Booker T. Washington, George Washington Carver. This book probably is who was Muhammad Ali because I got this um, before he passed away. So many things that you can talk about. Um, with this man right here, okay? If you want to dive into South Africa, if you want to dive into the apartheid, if you want to dive into his poem Invictus, this is a wonderful way to, to go. Now, um, again, with these books, it's not only for an elementary age student. You can have a middle school age student read this. You can have a high school aged student read this and the assignments, the creative assignments, nothing that's going to be boring, but the creative assignments will be based on um, their age, based on their grade. You can tie it into history, depending on what area you're studying. You can have them choose someone, read the book do a project and do a research paper, an analysis paper, a paper based on what was happening in that period of time in which this person made a significant impact, not only within the African-American community, but also within the nation, within the United States. How about around the world? What was their impact, if any, around the world? So again, I hope you can see how you can use these who was and who is books as a place to start, guys, as a place to start and build your own mini lessons, your own unit studies, not only on the people, but the events surrounding the people. Enjoy, dive deep, have discussion, have conversation, add some um, creativity into it, add some um, art to it add movies, add music, add poetry, add culture, visit museums virtually in this um, time of coronavirus, COVID-19, we may not be able to go into museums, but many have virtual museums that are available to you. Okay. I hope this was a benefit and I will put out a lot more videos like this to give you an idea of what you can do and where you can start. Okay. But it all starts with you, parent. Read be open, be flexible, have honest conversations, ask questions, be creative. Don't make it a boring schooly project. Bring it to life. As always, be blessed. Keep homeschooling on and make it a great day. Bye.